Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea if you are new here. Today's video is going to be, I guess, a little bit of a mashup. The problem is I intended for it to be a thrifting video, but when I went to the thrift store, it was pretty busy, and sometimes when it's busy like that, it can be hard to film. I'm not trying to run into people or, you know, being in people's way because I'm trying to film, so I try to be courteous when there's a lot of people around in particular. So I did not end up getting a ton of footage, and to be honest with you, I didn't, it wasn't a big haul. I only found... I think five things. So I think what I'll do is just pop in the footage so that you can see some of the stuff that was at the thrift store. It's pretty short. And then I'm going to show you what I got. But then I was thinking I have wanted to do a little bit of a kitchen refresh and probably easily 90% of the decor and things in my kitchen is actually thrifted. So I felt like that could be a good way of showing you, you know, how you can really transform a space or refresh a space using primarily thrifted finds. So that's our plan for the day. So let's start with showing you the thrifting footage. The detail on this mirror is so pretty. I don't really have anything like this, but I also don't have a spot for it. I think someone is a big Harry Styles fan because they seemingly dropped off their collection. There's two more. Oh, my favorite section of all. Look at this lamp, that is so cool. It's really big though, I don't have a spot for it. When I was younger, I never really understood why my mom had so many laundry baskets, but now that I'm an adult, I completely understand. Which one is that? How much is it? Oh, I can't see it. Yeah, that's really pretty. That's a good price. You'd probably have to use a decorative, though. These are so cool. I think they're supposed to be bookends, I'm not sure. Oh, I love this basket. They always have a lot of pillows, but I'm always just a little bit hesitant about bringing them home. This is adorable. I have to get this. This is really pretty too. That's heavy. Oh, I love this little teapot back here. I definitely don't need another teapot, but this is just so cute. Look at this bowl. It's almost like a shell inside. All right, welcome back. And let me show you what I actually purchased at the thrift store. The first piece I picked up is this really pretty basket for $3.99. You know by now I love collecting baskets, but this one in particular has the little felt feet on the bottom, which is really nice because that means no matter where I put this, it won't kind of scratch it up anywhere. Even if a piece of kind of like this wicker material would get broken or um, break off a little bit, the feet will keep it from scratching whatever surface it's on. I would really like to put this on my kitchen counter. I'm just trying to think about what would be useful to store in here. Maybe some dish towels rolled up or something like that. It would bring warmth and natural texture into the kitchen, so I'm hoping to use this in there later. Next, I got this really pretty candlestick for $2.99. This has great detail on the bottom that just gives it such nice texture, and it's just a pretty detail 
This is nice and heavy and is obviously for a pillar candle. It's a simple piece, but I really like it. And I think a piece like this can just add a little bit of drama to kind of anywhere that you decide to style it. Next is actually something that I got in a different thrifting trip, but I forgot to show it to you. So I figured I can show it to you now. It's just this really beautiful glass jar. And I think it's for a candle, but I want to show you up close. It looks so much darker on camera than it is in person. It's much more transparent in person and a lighter, it's almost like a green, gray, kind of black here. It's, it's such a pretty color in person and unfortunately I can see that it's not coming up how it looks in person on camera, but I think this would be so beautiful lit up with a candle in it, and I definitely wanna put this on my coffee table. Oop, and I forgot to tell you this was $1.99. All right, and last but not least for this trip is the most adorable little house. Look at how cute this is. It would have been awesome if this was part of a set or if it is a part of the set, if the set was there, but just this little guy was there. I think this is so pretty and just such a cute little piece. It says in the bottom, made in Vermont, and it has three little S's stamped on it. So I don't know if that's a company or if this is something like an individual person made. This was $3.99 and I wanna put this in so many places. I just think it's so darn cute and I can't wait to find the perfect spot for this. All right, so those were the pieces I got. I actually also got a sweatshirt, but that is in the laundry right now. It's a baby blue sweatshirt and it has Alaska on it. So that's the last thing I got, but unfortunately I don't have that to show you. So let's head to the kitchen and start working on that. All right, we're in the kitchen and I just recently stained the top of my kitchen island a just like a warmer brown before it was kind of that neutrally yellow kind of basic butcher block color but i just like it warmed up so much more it's also been pushed off to the side to kind of open up the kitchen but i'm thinking i want to move it back into the center to kind of create a natural divide between the cooking area and the dining area over here so that's what i'm going to do first I'm gonna try to work on this area in here, which I've already got my basket. You can see I really want it here. This kind of corner of my kitchen is sometimes really tough for me to style because I don't want to have too much there, but at the same time, I do have a tendency to like things in that area, so it's a balance, but we'll kind of see what we come up with. Again, a lot of my decor is thrifted. Maybe I'll put up on the screen the pieces that are, or maybe I'll just tell you. I don't know, I'll figure that out.
right, that was pretty quick. It was just a little restyling, a little refresh in here. I'm gonna show you how the space turned out, but I really just, I really believe you can create such a beautiful space with thrifted items and it's great for sustainability. It's great to kind of go on the hunt and see what you can find that really might make your day or might be the perfect piece for your space. So let me go ahead and show you how my kitchen turned out using primarily thrifted items. Mm -hmm. 